Hello everyone. Today we will show you uh, how to uh, modify date. In many situations, we have a column like this one, uh, in which you have date as well as timestamp. But you want to deal with only date. So sometimes uh, with the timestamp, if you don't deal with it, uh, from, uh, there are problems. So we will show you in SQL how to get rid of the timestamp and only deal with that. I have with me Isaac, data engineer, uh, working in uh, business intelligence. So Isaac, please, uh, can you explain the fintech and uh, how it's working? Hello everyone. Uh, uh, there is a two columns. Uh, one is uh, created time, and it is a uh, timestamp data type. And uh, another is uh, where we have uh, trunked the uh, created uh, time columns. And you can see uh, uh, in time uh, timestamp column created time there is a date and time uh, date and time both uh, value is there okay. and when we have uh, drunk the, this column and we have there only the dates uh, sometimes um, in uh, SQL um, where we have used the where condition uh, and using the some duration. Uh, if we uh, use timestamp, uh, there are some uh, misleading information may come. So, uh, for uh, overcome the problem, we uh, uh, use the trunk keyword to oh, so that there is no yeah. time uh, timestamp, only the data. As I see in your query, you have written select so created time, which is basically this one, and you have written in some trunk. So that's basically the Make sure that date, uh, so the date and time bar is moving remote. Uh, in order to show you the actual name, so this is actually what we are looking for. We wanted this, we have got this with this command. And in order to show you what the actual data type was, uh, instead is also written uh, this uh, translated date, uh, sorry, the created time, the actual variable, which is this. So from this one, we have found this one using this trunk. Uh, Function or okay. yeah, and from this table. So anyway, this was uh, today's lesson. How to get rid of the uh, date uh, from uh, from any uh, table and fill any variable, and then uh, create a calculated field in which we don't have the answer. Hope this works for you. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you, Mr.